win win when i wrote my second book win win corporations i never imagined that these would become buzzwords uh, in the next couple of years and corporations and individuals would be talking about win win in every aspect of life so let me start with a small anecdote what is that one system that science and technology hasn't been able to replicate in totality uh, in my understanding it is the human body the human body is something which i consider as the greatest miracle of the divine because it has things which we take for granted but has powers which we don't which we cannot even imagine for example the human eye just an inch and a half but can perceive one crore color combination this two and a half inch long tongue which can do a lot of damage but houses 10000 taste buds the small heart which we see pumping or rather which we don't see but live because of pumping every single day almost 250 crore times in a lifetime and pumps 200 crores of blood and our arteries are silently rushing through the blood across our body almost 12000 miles every single day but what is important is to look inside and see what is it that we can learn from this human body and let me share a story to uh, elaborate on what i want to say to elucidate on that for example we want to consume a fruit you see a fruit on the tree your mind says that you want to consume it the tongue kind of generates those uh, fluids the enzymes are trying to give you that message from the stomach your legs move in that direction you bend down pick up a stone throw it at the in the direction of the fruit the fruit falls down you pick it up hopefully wash it bite into it chew it it goes into the stomach it gets digested and the essence of the fruit is passed on to all parts of the body which particular limb of the body or which particular aspect of the body was responsible for facilitating this entire process you cannot name a single part of the body which was responsible each part of the human body worked together in order to generate this win win outcome so that each aspect of our existence enjoys the fruit in its in its essence and the body receives the nutrition which the fruit has to offer i think the greatest lessons for humanity lie in the way the human body functions and that's why i call that a win win there has been a lot of discourse in the last half a decade about the role of businesses and capitalism being a bane or a boon in my interactions with nearly 250 industry captains over the last decade both in india and overseas subject experts in europe and us where i had an opportunity of being at harvard copenhagen and elsewhere convinced me of this particular outlook that capitalism is one of the greatest systems of economics that has been created by humanity over the last 300 years where no single individual can achieve what all of us can achieve together and in today's global world with global supply chains the products and services that each one of us consume it is even more true that capitalism plays that role but what is important to note is what is the end objective of corporations and the capitalist system is it making profits uh, to say that the objective of a business is to make profits is to say that the objective of the human body is to make red blood cells right we do not live in order to make red blood cells red blood cells are the means which enable us to live similarly the breathing that goes on and off the oxygen helps us to exist but do we live to breathe similarly profits are meant to help organizations achieve a much larger objective what is that objective is the question which each one of us as individuals entrepreneurs leaders managers and corporations need to ask but again we are usually lost in the what which when where and how of businesses we forget one more word which is very critical the why of businesses why do businesses exist why do businesses do what they do and how can that help a much larger objective rather than simply making money very often we presume that personal value systems do not have to resonate with corporate value system this is for me but corporations may ye nahi chalega this is not something that would work in businesses we forget that human beings are at the core of the corporation there is nobody who is running the organization but human beings it's the alignment of these values 
which will lead to the true outcomes that we are looking for. Why am I talking about corporations? We are all so obsessed with what happens in the business world. Economic Times, Financial Express, Mint, there are half a dozen newspapers competing with each other to give the most attractive headlines in the corporate world. And I think for a long time, corporates and politics are the two kinds of news which attract attention in maximum. One fact file will answer that question of the 100 largest economies in the world, 51 are corporations and 49 are countries. So that's the kind of power, financial power, human power, infrastructure power that corporations possess. So how is this connected with win-win and why am I sharing all these statistics and fact files with you? I think if corporations make a beginning, we can make a lot of difference. I'd like to share some examples where win-win decisions led to great outcomes, not only for the companies, but for all their stakeholders. For long, we've always been taught that corporations run by the economic principles of zero sum. You win, I lose, or I win and you lose. How can both of us win, right? Either of us has to have a better opportunity than the other. So let me share some examples of how corporations have designed these innovative ways. I'll quickly run through one, one for each. The first one is of Tata Tea. In uh, around the year 2000, they wanted to divest from their plantations business in Kandan Devan Hills in South India. They had three options, sell off the plantations, McLeod Russell acquired 70 estates of HUL in Assam, good option, but Tata Tea was in the red. If they would have done that, the, the acquirer would have laid off all the plantation workers. No. Second, close down the plantations. 13,000 plantation workers will lose jobs. No. They did what was their third option. They divested the ownership of these plantations to the employees and the employees now became the suppliers of the company. In a matter of half a decade, the plantation business turned around. But what is important is, during this period, Tata Tea was having an annual commitment of 15 crores in the well-being of these employees who were now no longer their employees, they were their suppliers. Should we continue with these kind of investments or should we stop? The Tatas decided that come what may, we will continue to contribute to their health, education and skill development even though employees have become suppliers. Another example, customers. How did Bharat Petroleum start its pure for sure campaign? Today we don't even talk about it much because it's taken for granted. But the pure for sure campaign was a win-win approach in order to ensure that the customers get good quality and the right quantity at every petrol pump. A series of processes, technological innovations and interventions led to the customers getting the right quality and quantity but also led to a rise in the profits of BPCL. HDFC Bank, mid-1990s, started the core banking solution. At that time, SBI and other public sector banks had a particular system. You are the customer of a particular branch, not of the bank. So you can go only to that branch and get your transactions done. The core banking solutions made all of this a centralized process and you became a customer of the bank. The branches became sales and service outlets and the focus of the frontline managers was not uh, the drudgery of opening bank accounts or giving you new checkbooks and passbooks, but to see what best they can do for the customers. The efficiency and the innovation led to a direct impact on the bottom line, win-win. Customers win, employees win, company wins. The last one is on Taj, the Taj hotels. We all know the kind of uh, bravery the employees showed when they put themselves between the bullets of the terrorists when the attack was there in 2611. What happened was, two months after the terror attack, there was supposed to be a particular function at Taj. That particular morning, there was a short circuit in the hotel. They could not uh, have the function with 400 guests when there's a short circuit. Anyway, they are recovering from the terror attack. They were thinking, how do we relocate these 400 guests at such a short notice? That's when Karambir Kang was the manager who lost his wife and two sons during the terror attack and Hemant Oberoi was the chef. They decided to do something which was unthinkable. They called up Oberoi, their competitor, and said that we know that you have your ballroom available this evening. The food is ready. We have 400 guests. This was the problem we had this morning. Can you please ensure that this function is relocated to your ballroom for this evening? You can imagine competitors getting together, Taj food being made available in Oberoi. Those who are in the hospitality industry can imagine what it takes to make such a decision. But it was a phenomenal win-win in the interest of the customer. And I'll take you back 25 years earlier 
when Oberoi started their first hotel in Mumbai, Taj gave an advertisement. We welcome our friends to share the prosperity of the city of Mumbai. Who does that for welcoming competitors? This is what win-win can lead to. I'll conclude with a message which our scriptures have given us. We've been long antagonizing of business versus society. We need to move towards the synergy of business and society and eventually move towards the enlightened self-interest of business for society. So the Taitre Upanishad says, Sahana Vavatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejasvinavadi Tamastu Mavid Vishavahi. Let us grow together. Let us be nourished together. Let us use our energies for common good. And let us protect each other for the larger interests. I think that is a true win win which has guided India for several millennia, and I'm sure it will in the future too. Thank you.